Check out the camera we just installed onto the Bugs 3. Look at that downward angle all the way down. Check how aggressive the upward angle is. Crazy. And best of all, built-in micro SD right there. Boom. For all you Bugs 3 owners, this may just be the best budget aftermarket camera ever installed onto a Bugs 3. And guess what? It was never meant for a drone. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you how I put it together. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We've got the Bugs 3 on the bench here for somewhat of a mod video. Uh, this one's been in the works for a bit now. I've had everything I need to do this one for a while now. Just haven't had a chance to sit down and do it. So I've done a few mods to this uh, drone. I've done two FPV setups. This currently is the most current one with a little run cam in there. I've uh, done a action camera mount here. Uh, the stock action camera mount, we set it up so it can run GoPro style uh, mounting systems now. Today we're going to do something uh, camera wise again, but I'm I'm hoping I've got uh, I got a camera here that uh, I think is going to be well suited specifically for this drone and maybe other drones as well, but this is the one I'll use to uh, mount it on. So what we've got here is I've got this little uh, it's actually a dash cam that I picked up off Gearbest. Uh, this I picked this up around Christmas, I think. And it was $11 Canadian. And I'll drop a link for that uh, down below. But uh, when I saw this, I didn't really uh, pay attention to it too much. But when it came, I'm like, oh, wow. I just like the design of it. And initially, I was going to see if it would work on a drone. And if not, I was going to use it uh, in a vehicle possibly. But what is cool about this one? Let me show you. Look how sleek it is check that out and then I didn't know this until I got it either look at manual adjustments yes that sucks but look at the adjustment straight down to nearly straight up there that's awesome so if I can get this thing mounted and working if we're uh, you know got a pretty heavy pitch on the drone we're gonna be able to get those shots looking pretty straight nicely and the other nice thing about this guys is check that out micro SD card this thing automatically starts filming as soon as soon as it has power to it so there's no app to deal with you just power it up and you're good to go it starts filming so the idea behind this one is to mount it to the underside of the bugs 3 I'm not gonna do a permanent mount I'm not uh, not looking for a camera that's gonna be permanent I just wanted to do a project here something to uh, something to just keep me occupied right now with everything that's going on in the world right now so I thought I'd share this one with you guys. We're going to mount this up. We're going to make some kind of adapter, figure out a way to power it up, and we might sneak out and do a little test run and see how, how it works and see what the video quality is. Now, this camera, the quality of this camera is is advertised as HD 720p. We will see. I uh, does come with a little manual here. It has a built-in microphone. The video format is AVI. Uh, I can support up to a 32 gig uh, micro SD card and other than that um, it uh, initially gets powered off of a 5 volt USB so we're gonna have to work around 5 volt so I do have a 5 volt UBEC that I think I'm gonna have to incorporate into this project to power this up safely so let's put that away I'm gonna reposition the camera here so that we can uh, get some better views of the project as it happens and we'll be right back uh, getting this thing built figuring it out so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, before we get started on this, I just want to take the stock setup here with the bracket and check on the weight. Uh, one thing I didn't mention with uh, this uh, dash cam that we're going to use here, that's all metal. It's all metal housing on the bottom and then plastic on the top. So we're going to zero it out here. Put this on. And 80 grams is what this weighs. Now it's a little bit heavier than uh, than the stock setup would be because I have the GoPro attachment here which adds some weight. But 80 grams is what I have here and this will change a little bit. Uh, it should be pretty close to what we have. I am going to be uh, changing out the wiring here but we should be within uh, the ballpark here. 
So we have 90 grams for this camera. So it's not too bad. Only 10 grams uh, more. Uh, so we're not adding a lot of weight to that. So that that's okay. That's good. We're not a huge difference in weight there. Okay, so we're not going to be able to remove the battery tray. That's going to stay in. This uh, little camera here has a little... Uh, two-sided tape there. We'll use that for this project. We'll see how it works. I might switch that out for Velcro at some point, but I'm not sure. Like I said, this is not a permanent thing. This is just a fun thing for this uh, video, and we may get uh, lucky here and actually have a decent uh, action camera. We'll see. We're going to open this up. I'll show you what the inside looks like. So that just comes off like that. There's two screws for the circuitry here. You can see the little micro USB uh, port there, the little slot there for your micro USB. Now, me having a black table here kind of sucks and I don't have my little blue mat out, but that's okay. I'll try to keep everything uh, within view here. Sorry, these screws are pretty small and I don't, don't want to lose it. There we go. Okay, so they got this little plug right there. So here's our cable currently. And what I want to do is have that long enough with the UBEC, which won't be a problem. So we're basically plugged in there. And we want the UBEC in here. And basically, yeah, we're going to have uh, gonna have plenty of uh, room there to uh, allow this to fit. I've got ex very excessive amount of wiring here. I'm going to go like that since I'm not going to be using this for anything else. Gonna... Okay, so we're just going to prep our wires here. I don't even have my soldering stuff out yet, but we're going to get it out quickly here. Um, get these wires prepped. That one should be enough. Let's get that one out. We only need to do the positive and negative. Okay, cool. It's going to get a little solder on the end of this tip too. Alright, so we got our wire prep there. Alright, the UBEC. UBEC, so power in, power out. It has an arrow showing 5 volts this way. So that's where we're going to want to connect these two wires. Now, I'll leave a little bit of room here so I can reuse that plug for something else. And we'll get these prepped up. I think uh, one thing I'm going to do since this is actually going to go into the camera now is let's get a little bit uh, a shrink tube over. Th well, let's see how much we can get over it. Well, we got that, or there's another thing I can try out here. Um, I do have this stuff. I'm not sure that'll fit through it though. Actually, it looks like it will. Okay, let's do that. Once it's on, it don't want to come off. Okay, well, no big deal. Just gonna pull that off. This is just that nylon uh, expandable sleeve. I have a couple different sizes of it, and actually, I've been uh, it's been nice to to use lately for some of the projects I've done. Okay, so let's see what we need here. Yeah, about that much. I kind of just uh, pre-cut this. I was going to use it for the tail end. Yeah, that should be enough. Okay, a uh, little fire on the end here. Just one thing I do with this stuff that I've because it's hard to get the wires through is if you take a screwdriver and kind of put it through, and then chase yourself, and kind of slide it off does make it easier 
but with that plug on the end there, I don't know how easy that's going to be. All right, that wasn't as painful as it's been in the past, I'll tell you that. And like always, guys, I'm trying to do this, like trying to make this build at least for what it is as neat as possible. I don't, uh, I don't like just slapping stuff together and having it all hang loose. So that that'll be nice. Um, I think we can plug that back in now. So we've got that correct. Our five volts is going towards our plug, and that's what we wanted. So we're gonna plug this guy back in. correct way. There we go. Just going to take my little screwdriver here and make sure that is in securely. It is. Okay, everything looks good. Get that back in, you can see that camera, how much play it has, like how much motion. Several degrees of angle on that thing. We can start by pulling this uh, this double-sided tape off and this actually is 3M brand at least according to the label here and it does look like quality double-sided tape so we're gonna get one shot at this I'm gonna try to center it up here as best as I can loosely put it on there put this down on I think that double-sided tape, when it grabs, it's going to grab good. All right, let's try and do... Actually, it's not going to grab at all there. Okay, we got to get this on now. I think I'm going to put a little Velcro on there. I'm going to end up having to take this uh, tape off here, or this little... Uh, vinyl cover off there, the backing because it'll end up pulling off because that's where I'm going to have to put the velcro. So sorry, just eyeing it up here seeing how I'm going to do this. The velcro is going to have to go towards the back and we're going to use about that much velcro. So like that I will put, it uh, doesn't really matter, we'll just peel off one side so this velcro should be nice and sticky since you know we got sticky sticking the sticky here we'll push that on pull that back in off there and then I'll get this into place where I want it did not uh, I didn't plan on having to use this Velcro, so unfortunately that uh, double-sided tape did not work. Get that loosely into place, kind of, and then put some pressure on it there. Okay, it's on there. It's not the greatest. I'm trying to see if I can add any more Velcro anywhere. It doesn't really look like it. I guess you know what I could do, guys, is I could strap the whole thing with a strap. I don't really want to do that, but if I have to, we'll do that to test it. Um, okay, let's get back to it here. So, we're going to have to, uh, actually, you know what I was thinking? What happens if we do this? Can we just uh, possibly just glue that there? Maybe. Okay, let's, uh, let's snip this. We'll keep it pretty close here. And uh, yeah, let's got my little plug here um, on this plug, and I can just look by looking at the balance port here. Our positive is the wire with the white line, and our negative is the outside wire. Our middle wire will be our balance lead. We don't need to use that. I, I don't believe. So okay, let's do this. Let's cut that nice and close. Get these stripped up, ready to go.
get a good, look. good amount of hot glue on there and let's get it into place and just right about there that's what I was thinking that way it just kind of keeps it out of the way too now I don't know if I've never powered this camera up yet so I have no idea if this thing's got any lights or anything so we're not going to know until we actually test it Right there. I think I can live with that, guys. Sorry, I'm out of view again. Let that hot glue set up. We got the Velcro on the back. I'm. Uh, we might be able just to test it like that. You know, I'm fine with that. All right, guys, we're all finished up with the dash cam mount here on the Bugs Three. We're going to be using that as an action cam for the drone there, and the way. Uh, way we did this it's a hundred percent removable we got a little velcro on the underside there as you saw and this a couple daubs of glue hot glue on the underside of these LED lights I previously had installed and that thing is solid it's not going anywhere we will be good enough to test it and the nice thing about that is we can remove it when we're done with it if we don't want to continue using it or if we want to adjust where it is uh, placed on the drone now that is one of my concerns is where I have it placed on the drone I did want it out front like this to get a nice clear view without the drone being in the way of it but even though this is only 10 grams heavier than this uh, stock setup, we're not centered. We have most of that weight now hanging out the front here, and that might be an issue. I'm not sure, but we'll see that uh, during the testing, I guess. I have had heavier cameras on this drone. I've had a GoPro Hero 5 on there, which is considerably heavier than what's on here right now, but that weight was centered on the drone. And the drone handled it fine, but we'll see. We'll see. Now, like I said, I did see some stock footage of uh, this camera, and it was actually decent. Now, that footage was in a vehicle, obviously. Now, a vehicle is a lot more stable than a drone is, and I'm hoping there's no jello, but I'm kind of expecting there to be jello. But we'll see again in the testing if that's the case. Um, like I said, we got it all mounted up. We wired in a UBEC for. Uh, are five volts because this ran off of USB five volt setup and we just put a balance plug on the end here and this is why I wanted to use the bugs three was the leads for the battery hanging right out the back there and we can easily plug in right there and actually we'll do that right now just easily plug in like so and that powers up the camera and that camera will start recording you can see the red light there that red light's going to start blinking here which it is right now and I'm going to just pop this lens little lens protector off here and let's take a look let's put this uh, towards the toolbox here and check out all these awesome channels who have uh, done sticker swaps with me and actually that reminds me if you guys are up to doing any sticker swaps you have uh, channel stickers hit me up my emails below my Instagrams below and let's do it I want to fill up the box here and get as many uh, stickers on here as I can channel stickers so We've got the camera, I believe we're facing the right way. Yeah, we're facing straight ahead. So let's take a look and uh, see how it looks to the toolbox there at least. Get a little idea of what the quality is going to be like. So other than that, guys, um, like I said, the reasoning why I wanted to use this camera because I love the design of it, that nice low profile here and the adjustment from straight down like that to actually even a steeper angle than we have the FPV camera set up. So for flying nice and we get a nice uh, tilt on there we're definitely going to be able to have that angle adjusted even though it's a manual adjustment that's all good because I only paid 11 bucks for this camera so I'm not going to complain about that and I know a lot of you guys have the Bugs 3 as well and this might be something you want to do so this is uh, definitely something I wanted to uh, showcase on the channel here uh, this camera I'll put the link below I just took a look at it this morning. It is currently at $13. Uh, that's Canadian funds. I'll throw whatever the American conversion is online there. That was off GearBest. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this one turns out. Maybe you'll want to do it for yourself. Anyways, guys, I've got to get some batteries charged up for the drone. We've got to get some batteries charged up for the transmitter here. This is the transmitter I did several mods to, the Bugs 3 transmitter, the Micro Graffiti Decal transmitter. We've got the LiPo mod, so I'll have to charge that up. 
but we're going to get that done get some batteries charged up for the drone here and we might be able to get out as early as tomorrow but anyways guys for right now we're going to leave it at that if you like this video make sure you hit a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel really appreciate it hit that subscribe button before you head out and remember don't be a stranger see you on the next one see ya